Tuberculosis, or TB, is a contagious disease that primarily affects the lungs and has been a significant public health concern for centuries. Caused by the Mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria, TB spreads through the air, typically when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks, releasing tiny droplets containing the bacteria. While TB primarily targets the lungs, it can also impact other parts of the body, including the kidneys, spine, and brain. This video covers the medical definition and provides a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. The symptoms of tuberculosis vary, depending on whether the infection is latent or active. Latent TB, where the bacteria remain in the body in an inactive state, presents no symptoms and is not contagious. However, it can turn into active TB, making the person sick and capable of spreading the disease to others. Active TB symptoms include a persistent cough that lasts for three weeks or more, chest pain, coughing up blood, fatigue, weight loss, fever, and night sweats. The spread of TB is more prevalent in areas with crowded living conditions and inadequate health care, which facilitate the transmission of the bacteria. Individuals with compromised immune systems, such as those with HIV or AIDS, are at higher risk of contracting tuberculosis. Similarly, people with poor nutrition, those who abuse substances, and healthcare workers regularly exposed to TB are at an increased risk. Diagnosing tuberculosis involves a skin or blood test to detect the presence of TB bacteria. The skin test, known as the Mantu tuberculin skin test, involves injecting a small amount of fluid into the skin of the lower arm. A healthcare professional then checks the injection site after 48 to 72 hours for a reaction. Blood tests measure the immune system's reaction to TB bacteria. Chest x-rays or a sputum test can also confirm active TB in the lungs. The cornerstone treatment for tuberculosis is a long course of antibiotics, typically lasting for six to nine months. The most common medications include isoniazid, rifampin, ethambutol, and purazinamide. <laughs> Treating TB is a lengthy process due to the nature of the bacteria, which grows slowly and can survive in a dormant state in the body. Incomplete or improper treatment can lead to drug-resistant TB, a more severe form of the disease that is harder to treat. Prevention of tuberculosis involves screening high-risk populations, vaccinations, and ensuring that those with latent TB infection complete their course of preventative therapy to stop the infection from becoming active. In recent years, the rise of multi-drug-resistant TB and extensively drug-resistant TB has posed new challenges. These forms of tuberculosis are resistant to the standard treatments, requiring longer, more complex, and often more toxic drug regimens. The global health community is continuously researching new treatments and strategies to combat tuberculosis, emphasizing the importance of early detection, proper treatment, and ongoing public health efforts to control its spread. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.